Welcome back. My next guests are providing pro bono marketing and advertising assistance to other registered nonprofits in the St. Louis metropolitan area using a unique mentorship model. And they're here to tell us how it all works. Joining me now in the studio is Sarah Waters and Alex Ray from Ready and Willing. Ready. <laughs> Ready and willing. Let's not mix up the R and the W. Okay, so Sarah, you um, this was your brainstorm a couple years ago. Ready and willing. Yeah, it was. Um, I'm going to say about 2007. We, uh, a friend and I, Kendra Gilligan, we realized there was a need. There were a lot of nonprofits mm -hmm. in town. Mm -hmm. um, we're both from the marketing advertising industry. Um, and we realized that there was um, a place for a nonprofit that could provide these services to other nonprofits. Okay. So seven years ago, roughly, yeah. you guys formed this nonprofit. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and you probably, being in the field yourself, were getting a lot of requests for some pro bono work from your friends, right? Is that, yes, actually, yeah. yes. Um, it's, it's, it's kind of funny that as soon as you let people know you make things pretty, <laughs> <laughs> they come me? out of the woodwork <laughs> asking for help. So yeah, that's actually part of the reason that we decided to go ahead and take that leap and actually form an actual organization around this idea. Yeah, and it's really interesting that you and Alex here is with you work, this is your sort of part-time moonlighting um, yes. volunteer job. Yes. It's still, it's everybody's volunteer, right? Absolutely. Including you guys. Mm -hmm. And you're helping these nonprofits um, in, throughout St. Louis, and there's zillions of them. Many of them come here on our show, in fact, and providing a really valuable service, it sounds like. But how do you guys find the time to do this? Um, it's a passion. So you find time for your passion. Right. Um, but I do actually consider it a second job. <laughs> yeah. Because it is something that takes up a lot of my time after work on the weekends. Um, but it's fun and it is fulfilling, so it's worth it. And these nonprofits that you're working with are typically, you know, bona fide organizations that mm -hmm. operate eight to five or whatever. Is mm -hmm. do you find that it's a challenge to kind of meet their demands in your moonlighting hours, your off time? Actually, no, because that's part of our process is that we let them know very uh, right up front that everybody that works with us, or at least most of them, have 40-hour weeks, that mm -hmm. they're already they're getting paid for that. That's what allows them to do the work for these nonprofits. Right. Um, so they understand that we're not going to meet with them until after 5.30 in the evening, mm -hmm. or we're going to have to meet on the weekends. And, and they're, they're not having to pay for this, so they can... Right, exactly. Yeah. So they, they'll make some concessions. Right. They'll make the board meet on a Saturday if they need right. to. Right, or they're just yeah. eliminated right off the yeah. bat. So, yeah. <laughs> Alex, how did you get involved? Um, I actually stumbled across uh, Ready and Willing on, on Twitter. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I, those are some of the circles that I try to plug into. Um, I work at a non nonprofit myself. Um, and I was just interested in the organization. Um, so I... I uh, uh, filled out uh, a membership and, and joined the organization as a member and mm -hmm. reached out to the board and said, you know, I'd like to know more about how to get involved with, uh, with the teens and, and, and with the process. And I got an email back saying, well, that sounds great. Would you like to be on our board? Yeah, um, right. And so, <laughs> so I got to go in. I met, I met the board and uh, there was a place for me on the board. So, mm -hmm. so I joined the board. And, yeah, and you do uh, creative work all day mm -hmm. um, too, which yes. is what, something that all the people that you're recruiting to help, are they're all involved in marketing and creative work. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. as professionals. So um, how is it that an organization, nonprofit, Sarah, can get um, involved and in, in be a beneficiary of the services that you provide? Um, well, we have an application process. So mm -hmm. if you're wanting to receive services, um, they can go to our website, um, readyandwilling.org. There is a, a section on our website that's specifically aimed at nonprofits. Um, our application is there. It's actually closed right now. Um, we do have an actual project process. Mm. So we have an open application period, which should be opening around May. Okay. So um, like twice a year? Or yep, so? we do it twice okay. a year. Um, so we're in our first session for the year. Um, so our second session will start with an open application period in May. Um, but what they do is they fill out an online application. Um, we evaluate them based on their overall size, um, their staff size, their budget, um, establish that they're not able to hire uh, an agency on their own yeah um, because we're we're not we're in the business to take business away from our employers absolutely <laughs> right right so um, yeah. so you have to be small to mid-size sure. and and actually impact the st. Louis area okay. so if you're a nonprofit here that helps Africa or someplace right. you know we, we can't help you 
Exactly. All right, yeah. we're going to talk more about the application process in just a minute. And Alex, we're going to talk about how you're recruiting okay. all these people to be on your team. So don't go away. We'll be back to hear more from Sarah Waters and Alex Ray after this break.